Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar's key support level at 66.5070 is fast approaching as the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, jumped to a fresh intraday high, or more to the fact, a seven-week high of around 105.24 following the US Federal Reserve's preferred gauge to determine monetary policy, which showed inflation at a higher than expected level. Friday's report from the U.S. Commerce Department showed that the core data from the Personal Consumption Expenditure, or the PCE, price index rose for, to 0.6% from December to January, up sharply from a 0.2% increase from November to December. On a year-over-year -year basis, prices have risen 5.4%, up from 5.3% annual increase, that is, in December. Looking ahead, eyes now look to the Australian CPI year on year, which is due out on Wednesday. So, on the technical outlook, the relative strength index is somewhat negative to an oversold pattern. Nevertheless, the ADX is still supporting a bear case, while the MACD is married to the RSI's negative bias. Therefore, I feel there will be more pressure on the downside with 67.05 with the immediate target and then lower to the objective of 66.50.70, where I do anticipate profit taking as this was seen as a key level back in December and also in November. Looking at the top side, a short term cap seen at 67.65. Looking at the euro, the market is still maintaining its bearish case and looks towards the region of 105 figure 15. From there, could see some Profit taking emerging as we are oversold, but the ADX is still supporting the bear case. And as I mentioned, the dollar index still has potential to gain higher from where it sits around 104.15 to a target of 106, which therefore would see the euro eventually reach its target due to being weighted to the US dollar index at 57.6. Any advancement sees a cap on an intraday basis at 105.75. The dollar yen surges on Friday and takes out its topside call at 136 and now exposes the region on a broader view of 142. However, we're seeing a little bit of profit taking coming back into play as we see into the Monday session, but the pullback is likely to be limited or shallow with the support seen around 135.30 to 135.80 and with the topside view immediately at 136.70, which likely to progress further, as I mentioned, onto 137.30 to 137.90. The pound still remains somewhat weak into the fourth consecutive day as we see the bears crush the level of 119.45 and now exposes the region to the lower side of 118 with any upside potential seeing a cap around on an intraday at 119.75. With the figures coming out on Friday gold was taken to a further downward case and that is through 118.20 and now exposes the region of 1786 to 89. The ADX is overheating a little, but still holds to a bare case and married up with the both indicators. But the RSI is a little bit oversold, so a little bit of profit taking may emerge due to the short case scenario. But towards 1,817 to 1,832 should find supply returning until we reach the bottom side of this range, which is also seen back in December of 1,786 to 89. And wrapping up with Oil, the market still holds to its bullish case since breaking higher in the last two days. But nevertheless, the technicals are a little bit wavering at these levels. But, but I feel that we are looking at $77.20 to $78 a barrel as a potential target. With any pullback, should be shallow around $74.80 as an intraday support. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday port. I hope you enjoy the great starts in the new week.